Hello YouTubers, I'm Glacial Prison and I'm here with a rant video about some emo fuckboy <sighs> Era the fucking T-Rex or his YouTube channel is called I'm a fucking T-Rex He made a video about calling League of Legends sexist, anti-feministic and homophobic and racist and whatever the fuck he, all, he calls it before I start the video, I will react to all of his claims and tell them why most of them are bullshit. But uh, before I be before I'll go to that, he has a bit of uh, there's a bit of truth. You want to know why? Because it's a video game. Everything is fucking sexist in the 21st century. Welcome to the 21st century. But you're not a 21st 21st century digital boy. And Let's just go and watch this video. <sighs> hey guys, I'm Era and I'm a fucking T-Rex. Roar. The video hasn't even started and it's already good. <laughs> I'm a fucking T-Rex. Roar. Why? Like, Roar. Okay, that's, 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 okay, that's, that's a funny joke for once. But not make that your whole entire thing. That's like his thing. Let's just let's just go into the video. I hate this motherfucker already. Um. So today I want to talk about something. Um. Super important, and I think it's really important. Um. Yeah. It's about the game League of Legends. I find League of Legends very sexist, racist, and homophobic. Uh, yo dudes, um, you're kind of recording a video, what the fuck are you doing? Okay, just checking in, is everything alright, are you zoned out? Are you high on drugs? Whatever, I don't understand, but okay, okay. Let's go on. But, um, now before I want to uh, talk about League of Legends, I want to say, um, I'm in no way like Anita Sar Sarkeesian. Like, I actually like and play video games. Um, I'm Bronze Tree on League of Legends, so yeah. And um, I actually provide evidence for my arguments, as you'll see. And I do see myself as a feminist, but I'm not a feminazi. I don't hate men. I just want gender and racial equality. Now, now that's out of the way. Let's get into the video. So in League of Legends, there are over 150 playable characters. So then why are all the females, gays and blacks less good than the straight, white, cisgendered males? You say the, the females are, are worse? And the black and the black and the gays? Well, I can, I can name you. I can name you Riven, Aurelia, Ari, LeBlanc. Fucking Asriel. Asriel's really strong. Varus is a top pick. He looks ho he looks maybe homosexual to you, but Varus has a top pick AD carry. Like, what the fuck is your your whole idea? Do you live on a rock under under a rock or something? What the fuck? Ugh. Let me give you a few examples. Most of the AD carries are female. With an AD carry need to support, and most supports are male. Most supports are male? What? Uh, most supports are female. Soraka, Sona, Leona, fuck, Lu Lulu, fucking... Jana, Nami, even Annie. Like, what? Let's see what this fuckface has to say next. By the way, if you're curious about why he drinks so much Monster, I don't even know. He drinks Monster like every day and, and eats almost every video, it's disgusting and I wonder why he isn't obese, but hey. 
and all the supports that are female are healers. This implies that female AD carries w is are useless without a male to help her. And the female support are objectified to nothing more than just a moving health potion for the male to use whenever he wants. Healing is a crucial part of being a support. Male supports don't have heals, what I would, except Bart, but like I said, Bart has, doesn't have a gender. Leona doesn't have a heal, Annie doesn't have a heal, fucking Jana's heal is, is, is her ult. Fucking heals are important, with heals you can make plays and, and by the way, any carries only need their support really in the early game, in the late game they can 3 hits and kill everyone they see, like fuck you. The females also wear skimpy clothing for men to ogle at an objectify. Welcome to the 21st century. All the males in the game are fucking buff as shit. And most of them have skins that show a lot of skin. But yeah, women don't really care about that. They like, they like six pack though, but hey. There are a few examples of strong women in league, but these are all homophobic and racist. Like Vi. Vi is obviously lesbian with her pink hair and stuff. Like who has pink hair? But um, like, her weapons are her giant fists. A pink haired lesbian with giant fists. Need I say more? Good job, Riot. Good job. You might, you might also say, Elawi is a strong female, but she can't do anything without tentacles. The tentacles represent a penis. So this implies a woman can't do anything without a penis, aka a man. Hate to break it to you, man, but Riven is fucking strong. Aurelia is fucking strong. And, well, there are a lot of strong females, and not every female dresses in skimpy clothing, by the way. Look at... Yeah. Rek'Sai. Rek'Sai doesn't really wear anything, because Rek'Sai is a fucking monster. Like, still female. And everyone objectifies it. Like, go on the internet, everyone objectifies anything. And if, and if you're gonna take offense about objectifying and sexualization, then you should better, better go off the internet, my friend. <sighs> like, just... And by the way, Vi is one of, the, one of the coolest champions in the world. I... She might be lesbian, but you commenting about it is more homophobic than them just letting it be. I hope uh, I hope you realize that, my friend. Rar, fuck you. Stop saying rar. Stop being a fucking gay ass nigga. Emo fag. She's also a racist stereotype. Like she's a big, strong black woman. Like, can you can't get any more racist than that? And the worst of all has to be Annie. Annie is a nine-year-old girl who wears a short, sh short skirt, and she's accompanied by a bear at all times. Need I say more? Every little girl wears wears tiny sk tiny skirts or whatever you call them. I I, I don't remember anymore. My short-term memory is that good. And the bear is actually a metaphor for, for a dad figure, not a pedophile. Because the bear is, is for her whenever she needs him. And, like, wow. She might be nine, but but she still wears, wears tiny skirts. Because that's, that's what tiny girls think is cute. And she wears a cat ears. Like, she definitely wears what she thinks is cute. So I don't understand your whole thing, like um, Alawi, Alawi. Yes, she's a strong, she's a strong black woman. 
What is racist about that? That's very cool. A strong black woman, like, what do you want to play? You want to play? You want to play a weak black woman? A fat black woman? No, you want to play a strong black woman who can destroy people. That's like if you. <sighs> You don't understand the internet, do you? Men aren't safe either. The only black males in the game are Echo and Lucian. Echo is a stereotypical thug and hood rat who doesn't like discipline and rules. And Lucian's ultimate is basically a drive-by shooting. Good job, Riot. Like, okay, Echo is a thug rat. Nice observation. Everyone wants to play as a thug rat, because what do you want to play at? Someone who doesn't obey rules, someone who's cool, someone who's rebel, or someone who, who follows the rules and is, uh, is, is, is sad. A Lucian's ult being a drive-by shooting, okay. But... Corky's ult is literally, literally an airstrike, and he has, he has a red brown skin, which is based on fucking Hitler, on, on the fucking Nazis, like what the fuck, the red barons were Nazis, and like there are so many offensive skins that it doesn't make any more sense what you say, like bye. And for the homophobic nature of League, we have Varus, Tarek and Ezreal. These are all obviously homosexuals. And what do they have in common? Well, they're weaker than all the other champions, and they have uh, skins that objectify them. Here are a few examples. Okay, they may be gay and stuff. Like, I don't know about Vars, but yes, some of their skins objectify them. But that's funny. Like, everyone, almost everyone has a skin that objectifies them or makes fun of them in some way. That's that's the funny nature of skins. And by the way, as real super strong, his ult is, is, is global, he, he is only really hard. Varus does a lot of damage, he's a really strong AD carry, and Tarek has just got an awesome rework. Like, do you even play League? Your bronze fucking tree, you should, you should, you should know basic champions. Like, oh my god. Uninstall the fucking game, uninstall your fucking life, buy a gun, put it on your head, and go like, pfft, shut, shut your fucking face off. Bye. Fuck you, you're so stupid. But their classic skins are also sexist and stereotyping. Like, look at Ezrael's perfect blonde hair, Varus is naked upper body and scar, and Tyrek's just his whole outfit and idea. Like, what the fuck, Riot? By the way, have you seen Garen? He's he's like basically over 180 180 meters meters tall. He is he has a six pack. He is he has perfect hair like, and Jace is exactly the same. Like Darius has a six pack and is over 180 tall. Like a lot of champions are are sexually attractive. Like I'm bisexual and I think some of the champions are attractive and. It makes it fun, like, you don't want to play as a skinny fuck dude, like you! Who, who, who drinks monster all day and eats fucking shit all day. I don't want to play as someone like that. Like, I would play as a scene kid or an emo, but not you! So yeah, that was my video. I know I've been a bit harsh on Riot. But other than that, I really like League of Legends. So yeah. Uh, what do you guys think? Is League of Legends sexist, racist, and homophobic? Leave it in the comments below. But, um, please like and subscribe. Rawr.
<laughs> the fucking ending, holy shit. What's wrong with you? Subscribable. Like, okay. You have your thing, but it makes, but it's fucking cringy as fuck. And oh my god. Mr. Black Darkness was so right about you. You. Mr. Black Darkness is, 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 I'm a fan of him, but hey, let's go back to you and go to Leak. In conclusion, Leak is sexist, homophobic, and racist. Not, not homophobic, but there's plenty of gay, uh, gay teamings because, well, there's, there's a, there's a lot of stuff that, uh, that get into, also fanfics, uh, fanfics and shit, but that, but that's fan created. But League is very LG LGBT. Well, wait, LGBT. Yes, that. Because they have everything in their game. They have every race, and it would be it would be racist if they if they had a black guy and like if they didn't have a black guy or if they didn't have a gay person, but only white males and white females. Like they have everything, from the American stereotypical girl to which is Lux to to the emo Morgana to whatever the fuck everything. Leak is everything. I like Leak. And by the way, Mr. Era the T-Rex, I would like to challenge you to a 1v1 in League of Legends. I will leave my 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 summoner name in the description and then we can get we duked out in in the fields of justice. And see, I'll, I'll show you what the uh, female characters can do and how strong they are. So I hope you guys like this, uh, like this video. Leave a like, or subscribe, it would mean a lot to me. And tell me if I should, should make more videos about this guy or uh, some other kids. And uh, well, uh, I hope you guys like this. Bye-bye. Um,